Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful heart with eucalyptus bark on our green belt here in Seal Beach. Um, certain time of the year all the bark peels off the beautiful eucalyptus trees that we have and it just sits on the ground and when they come and clean up the park they just throw it away. So this year I decided to pick a bunch of it up and it's absolutely beautiful. It's pink and green and it's just gorgeous and I took it and hot glued it to a piece of plywood that my husband bought which was four feet by four feet and made this beautiful piece of art with it. The heart represents my love for my husband and his love for me and our own self-love and it's a big beautiful piece and I'm going to show you how to make it and I'm also going to show you how to make a smaller version of it. So what I did was I hot glued it all in the shape of a heart and then I painted the rest of the plywood a gold color. Then I didn't like that so I had my husband cut around the eucalyptus bark into a heart and it made it look like a like a frame around it but I still didn't like the gold with it so in the end <laughs> I had him completely cut all the gold off because I felt like it looked fake I don't know the gold just didn't go with the natural part of the bark so here it is finished and I absolutely love it we put it at the top of our stairs the stairs leading out to our roof deck so it's almost like the outside is coming in and it's just beautiful to have it up so high it's just a great statement of our love for each other and our self-love. So now I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out what surface you want to use to create your heart with. The one that I showed you I was plywood and that's a huge piece and you can definitely do that. But this one I'm going to show you on is a small um, 8 by 10 canvas because I'm doing this for my dear friend who's quite ill. So you're going to take your canvas and make a cross in it. Find the center. Make a light line one way, horizontally, and then vertically. So you have your cross in the middle of the canvas. Then you're going to want to find something that you have that's circular. You know, I'm going to use the bottom of this jar, but for the big heart, I used a big basket I had to make the circles. So this time though, this is a small piece for my friend, so we're gonna use these. So where the cross is, the circle is gonna go as close as it can to the center cross, right? So this will go right here. And then you just trace around the circle, like so. And you're gonna wanna do the same thing on the other side. So now you have two circles right at, at the center of the canvas. Then from here you're going to do a triangle and I'll show you how that's going to work. So where the, the widest part of the bottom of the circles are is where the top of your triangle is going to be. So you make a line here. See how this is the widest part of the, top, of the bottom of this circle? And so is that. So I put the line there. And then we're going to take it from the outside here and go down on both sides. Like that. There is no perfect way to draw a heart. All of our hearts are shaped differently. So if you want to make it fatter here, skinnier here, however you want to do it. But this is just something to go by. So now you've traced your heart out. And now you're going to want to decide what color to make the background. I did mine gold. I just felt like the gold went well with the color of the bark. But you can do any color you want. So I think I'll do silver on this one. So I painted the background silver. And I used Nova colored paints to do that. Of course, I'll link those. 
What I also did for my friend, because she is having such a hard time and she is so ill, is I wrote a whole bunch of affirmations all around the heart. I used this, these fiber, Faber Castell pens, which are wonderful. They write on pretty much anything. So it made it easy to write on the canvas. And I wrote things like, I lead with courage in my life. My life is a joy. The divine appears in my life every day. Life loves me. I feel more whole every day. My immune system gets stronger each and every day. I am fierce. Just things like that, which would be really nice for her to read while she looks at her heart symbolically. So now for the eucalyptus bark. I decided to paint it, uh, spray painted it gold because I thought it would go well with the silver. And I'd already done one with the other colors, so I wanted to do something different. So since this is such a small heart, I'm going to have to break this up. And I'm going to try to break it up and make it look natural. Good luck, right? And then I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue the pieces onto the heart. And this is a really like a random process. Just kind of have to be artistic with it and, and go with how you're feeling about it. Just kind of start wherever and just kind of get in the heart and, and get all the pieces stuck on. There's no other way to say it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see how I'm doing this. I'm just gluing and then sticking them on. And you'll go on top of them or below them, whatever you want, you know. It's a really random, use your own artistic eye process. I like it when they kind of lift up off of them. I think that looks really cool. And then you can always just stick pieces under it to fill in. And you just keep going until the heart is done. You can see how my heart looks now. I'm just gonna keep going with it till I fill it all in. You see how this piece has like a curve to it? I'm gonna use this on the curved part of the heart right here. The glue gun is a whole art form unto itself. <laughs> But you get the hang of it. It's just like anything else. You got to keep practicing with it. So here is the final piece. I hope she loves it. Can you see it has dimension and it's different and it's not perfectly in the lines, but it's close enough. So there you have a beautiful gift that you can give to somebody handmade eucalyptus bark heart or a big huge one that you can make for yourself. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.